Marcusson & Son is the world's oldest organ building company and has achieved international repute. Danish pipe organs from Marcusson & Son can be heard in churches and concert halls all over Europe, the United States, Japan, the Middle East and South Africa. This 200-year-old family-run firm is based in South Jutland in an old townhouse in the centre of Obenhall. Here, tradition and innovation go hand in hand with Danish design. For generations now, organs from Markusen and Son have been held in worldwide esteem. Rooted in family traditions, long experience and solid professional skills, they embody seven generations of craftsmanship and not least, love of the instrument. Markusen and Son place unwavering demands on quality and finish. This is a condition for development and the basis for the continuous enhancement of craftsman skills. And that's the way it's been since Markusen and Son was founded in 1806 by the great, great, great grandfather of the present owner, Claudia Zachariasen. Now, as then, all organ parts are made in the company's many workshops. Man har altså altid sat så meget på på en håndværksmæssig kvalitet og en klanglig kvalitet og øh, har ikke øh, gået på kompromis. The organ is the only instrument created for a specific room with specific acoustics. In this process of creation, the company drafting room works closely with the customer, the authorities, the architect and the organist. In each case, an appropriate sound and organ construction is worked out and integrated in the organ facade. At Markusen and Son, the wooden planks come in at one door and the finished instrument goes out at the next. The high demands placed on quality include the timber used in the construction. The storage room contains wood carefully chosen for each part of the organ. This is the so-called naval oak. Oak of the same fine quality as that once used in the warships of the Royal Danish Navy. Drawings are on a scale of one to one and include complete detailed drawings for the pipes and the plan for the installation of the organ. Detailed planning allows for the tailor-made solution and ensures not only optimal tonal quality and musical functions, but also the accessibility of pipework and other parts. Each of the company's numerous workshops has its own speciality. Markusen and Son have trained many of the company's craftsmen, and many of them have been with the company for years. This is reflected in their veneration for the craft and is manifested in the organ itself, making it sound as it looks. The casting shop creates the alloys from which the pipes are made. The joiner's workshop makes the organ case, the wind chests, the wind channels and the bellows. The smithy makes the iron and brass parts used for the organ console and stop mechanism. company hallmark and one of the prides of Markusen and Son is the pipe workshop where the metal pipes are made. A process beginning with a cold raw material and ending with the finest sonorous pipe. For the bigger pipes copper is used as copper is a far stronger metal. Pipe making does not allow for compromise. Casting is done with the utmost care. This sheet of metal will one day be a pipe in an organ made for the Academy of Music in Esbjerg. The accumulated experience of 200 years enables the company to constantly renew traditions with regard to both tone and design, all according to the needs and wishes of the customer, the organist, the architect and the authorities. The production of all the organ parts is characterized by sterling craftsmanship. 
Attention to the smallest detail ensures exquisite tonal quality and optimal function. An organ must undergo many years of wear and tear, and this calls for outstanding workmanship and reliability. Over the years, many of the world's leading organists have become acquainted with a Markusen and Son organ. A staff of great voices, both from Denmark and abroad, have always been attached to the company. From the mid-19th century, organ building was influenced by Romanticism, and in the technical field, pneumatic tracker action gained a footing. Ever since, Markusen and Son have been among the first to acknowledge the principles of the organ movement and have contributed to the development of the classical organ. In 1931, the construction of a mechanical slider chest organ for the St. Nikolai Church in Copenhagen represented a landmark. With this, the change to the classical building tradition became a reality. This tradition was to become the basis for the pipe organ of modern times. A tradition Markusen and Son carry on even to this day, and which in recent decades has also embraced the romantic organ ideals of former times, along with more basic features. The separate parts of the console and stop mechanism are made of iron and brass in the company smithy. Console design often reflects the requirements of the individual customer. Any electronic equipment for the programming of the registrations will be installed by specially trained personnel. Only the keys for the manual keyboard are made outside the company. The restoration of historic organs has always formed an important part of the work at Markusen and Son. This includes the restoring of wind chests, organ cases, and mechanical parts, and not least, the restoration of the pipework and the recreation of tonal colors. The restoration of historic organs has provided the company with a knowledge of the organ craft of former times and of many countries. At the present time, Markusen and Son are calling once again upon this accumulated experience, owing to the increasing interest in historic organs. Among the organs restored by Markusen and Son is the Neva Kirk organ in Amsterdam. The company's oldest organ also deserves a mention. It was built in 1820 for the church of Sisbu and stands today in the cathedral of the town of Huddersloe. When restoring an organ that is still in its original condition, the original construction method is copied, even down to the choice of materials. <coughs> Repairing pipe material and performing tonal adjustments are naturally done with consideration for existing tonal aesthetics. When reconstructing an organ, which has had parts added from other periods and is thus historically valuable, the instrument is restored with consideration for period norms. An example of this is Markusen and Sons' restoration of the Abbey Church in Preetz in Germany, where organ parts from four centuries were involved. Organ building requires precise planning, even at the final stages. All parts must be ready on time at the assembly shop. Here, each part is fitted and the mechanical functions tested. When the instrument is in perfect working order and has been approved, it is dismantled and is then ready for delivery. At the delivery site, in this case the Academy of Music in Esbjö, the organ is rebuilt. The organ builders apply the finishing touches. The pipes are put into place. The registration and the console are finely tuned. Yeah. Tight. 
And the voicer can begin the final voicing, which may take from several weeks to several months. Only then is their work at an end. The new organ will be taken into use and sound just as it looks. Yet further proof that Markusen and Son are among the world's finest organ builders. Markusen and Son, a place where tradition and sterling craftsmanship unite with modern demands on voice and tone, functionality and design.